Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me today for another exciting episode. This is Maxi Limit. Now, uh, you probably already bought your iPhone 14 and you are wondering how to transfer your data from your previous iPhone to the brand new iPhone that you just bought. Functionally, uh, everybody will have uh, mostly the same questions. That's why I'm here today to show you how you can simply and then, and then securely transfer your uh, your data from your previous iPhone to the brand new iPhone that you just bought. Okay, uh, my case, I'm using my iPhone 11 uh, Pro from so many years, and then I just got the iPhone 14 Pro uh, in the purple. And in the deep purple to be precise that's what Apple calls it in uh, the 256 gig because you know this iPhone this day with the camera the quality of the pictures are so amazing so if you start taking video and so and so um, the space can be uh, can uh, be full quite easily so I highly recommend you if you want to enjoy your iPhone and not run out of space to definitely get something other than the 128 gigabyte so in my case I got the 256 in purple I also got the iPhone 14 Pro Max fortunately I might need to return that because it's very too big for my hand so I will just uh, stick with uh, the iPhone um, 14 Pro regular size okay definitely did the uh, video uh, unboxing video for those two products the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max uh, the Pro Max was in the gold color the Pro is in the deep purple as you can see in my hand right now I will link that video in a card somewhere on the screen so go and check it out okay so again uh, this is uh, my new phone this is my old phone so I will be transferring data from here to here how we do it stay tuned you will see it all right let's get started all right so we are back and then the first thing we need to do is definitely open that box okay so i'm gonna quickly open it and as you can see i have the iphone 14 pro uh deep purple here on my hand uh, and then uh, uh again i don't want to go through the box because i already did a video so go and check it out but uh what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna definitely move the camera closer so you can see what is happening on both devices okay so i'm gonna move the camera bring it close and then we can stick it from there okay so all right we are back and as you can see here uh, the phone is now on and my old phone is right here we are gonna start the pairing procedure here so I'm gonna bring it up like this and I'm gonna choose English but before even I, that I choose it's already detecting that I have a new phone that I want to set up so I'm gonna go to continue because he knows that I want to set this phone up and then I'll wait for the connection to be established and as you can see we have some kind of image that are supposed to uh, it says position this image onto the frame of your camera so I'm uh, I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna uh, kind of scan the code with my old phone and it has been scanned and then it's uh, gathering some information from my old to the new phone and I as you can see the connection has been established uh, so it's good. We're gonna wait a little bit now. It's asking me who will be using this phone But like since uh, this phone is no longer mine is asking me who will be using it I will still say that is me. I'll continue and then uh, it's asking me now to put on my password So basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be entering uh, the password of my old phone. I get it So I ha we have to do that. So I'm gonna put the password quickly so I put the password of my old phone here so that everything can be copied securely. So when that is done, uh, this is prompt, prompting me to finish uh, on my new phone. So I came here, it's doing some connectivity and I'm gonna wait for it to complete. From here, it's asking me to set up the uh, face ID. Um, uh, again, I can decide to set this up later for the sake of this video. So we're gonna do later. And then it's asking me to transfer. What is it saying here? We go back here. Um, yeah. So it's asking me now to transfer data from uh, Max Limit iPhone. This is my current phone. I'm going to do continue. And uh, it's setting up my Apple ID. So again, it's copying everything from here to here instead of you manually 
typing everything again and as always we just gonna uh, see the term and condition either we agree or we don't if we disagree eventually we cannot use this phone we can only agree to it um, yeah there you go and then again it's setting up uh, my new Apple ID so it's again copying everything from here to here so again it's telling me that it's gonna copy uh, my the app and the data it's gonna come up it's gonna copy the settings and also my uh, Apple wallet and then I'm gonna click continue definitely you can customize it if you don't want to copy some of your stuff you can definitely uh, deselect them or you can choose whatever you want to copy but in this for me I want to copy everything and then when I take my phone it will be like I'm just using the same phone even though it's not the same phone because all my pictures all my text messages all my notes i mean everything i have on this phone will be copied to the new phone that is the um that's the amazing part so i don't have to manually copy stuff or download all my application set up my apple wallet stuff nope everything will be exactly the way it was on this iphone there you go so again uh, from here you will uh, have to again the, for, for security purposes you have this is my apple uh, wallet you will have to uh, select the four digit of your card again um add this card and wallet later we can do everything later I have multiple cards actually uh and then we can do it later and then <laughs> so we have so many cards on my apple wallet <clears throat> when it's done we can definitely uh select to uh, activate series so we're gonna say a few things to siri to recognize our voice again i want to do that later i mean for this just for the sake of this video otherwise it's better to do it right away and then you know that when the setup is complete there's nothing else that needs to be done again uh, we, we can share uh, data with apple and normally don't and then we can uh, activate the uh, the emergency sos uh, feature this has been introduced this year um and most important thing that was introduced was the car detection so if you have an accident automatically your phone will call the emergency services i think you have 10 seconds or so to respond to it otherwise it's gonna call if you find yourself lost in the middle of nowhere like the desert or i don't know in the rocky mountains and then you don't have a, uh, a internet connection or network connection then you can definitely use the satellite to uh, to communicate and then yeah you can go continue if you're okay with all of that and then as you can see is now starting to transfer data from my old phone to the new phone so and that is uh, pretty pretty much it is very very simple and easy to do a couple of clicks and then you are done it's better than not uh, it's better than uh, setting up everything manually like typing your password and so and so um, Your network ID and stuff like that uh, as you can see eventually you might need to configure a few a few things like your Apple wallet uh, The three digit at the back of your card to set it up again. That's for security reasons But again except from that, you know, I did not tap too much stuff my internet connection was done automatically for me uh, my um, Apple ID was sign up was signing automatically for me all my data pictures and everything will be transferred automatically and then that's been it that, that's it now uh, you have to keep in mind that if this phone has a higher capacity uh, than the new phone you might have some storage issues right now this phone is 64 gigabyte and this is 256 so I don't have any issue with that but if let's say this was one terabyte and it's full and this is 156 126 gigabyte then we'll have an issue right so you cannot transfer everything from a bigger device to a smaller size device so you might want to uh to think about all of that so uh, again uh, before doing all of this you can automatically also back up your data to the icloud first before transferring it in case something happens but again me um i have um I have, I have already backed up my stuff so that's why I did not talk about it but you could definitely back everything up on the iCloud before you start again this will take few minutes and when it's done your phone will definitely be ready to be used all we need here is just a little bit of patient and everything will be good and as you can see already the uh, the dynamic island is actually working because now it's a little bit bigger and we can see that we have the uh, the, the the lock icon here i mean 
the the whole thing about this brand new iphone is basically the dynamic island and then we are going to be talking about this and how you can use it to the max uh very shortly in another video so don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned okay uh make sure that your notification is is on and then you select all so you are aware of any new video that i do so that is very very important so so you can stay connected and stay tuned for any new video that comes out okay so okay we are all done this is completed we can actually put that on the side and bring our attention to our new one is done setup is so i'm gonna unlock it but since i did not set up my face id it cannot unlock automatically so i have to put the password in so password is inputted and then it is continuing to do something about it so we have to basically wait a little bit for it to complete but that is pretty pretty much it okay so um we can wait a little bit <laughs> actually i think is uh, done and then there you go you see exactly the same picture i have on my previous phone that is what exactly is still here continue and on this phone uh, uh is everything is done not now and perfect yeah so you see everything is done i have uh, the exact same picture as on my previous phone now everything that is here is right here i can unlock the phone the only thing that will remain here will be uh, to put on the cellular because right now I do not have my SIM card in, right? So um, that's why it's asking me to put in my SIM card, but I do not have, so I have to uh, remove the SIM card from this old phone to put it here. If you are in the US, for you, it's gonna be easy. You have the eSIM, you don't have to transfer any SIM trays. So for me, I don't have it. So that's the only way I can have uh, connections right now. Again, let's play a little bit with the Dynamic Island. Right now, there's nothing on it. Let's say that I set up uh, an alarm I can go for time i will just start and i bring it up automatically as you can see it's up here that is amazing you can interact with it you just press and hold have more options again i will be giving you more details about uh, the, uh, the 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 dynamic island what you can use it for and if it's useful or not eventually whether you should even buy a new phone or not but again that is it that was a quick video i wanted to show you how you can directly download everything from your old phone to the new phone without too many hassle right so again uh, that is it all right guys thank you so much for watching today's episode again it was just a quick uh setup how you can basically transfer data from your uh, old phone to the new phone it was done it was very amazing and very easy to do you can do it yourself so make it it will take a few minutes but once it's done it's done because you don't have to download everything from uh, from the icloud or from your uh, apple I, apple store so again very very easy more video will come my next video will be digging deep into the iphone 14 pro and then we can see uh how the uh dynamic island uh, we can interact with it and how to set everything up okay especially on the iphone 14 because now we have upgraded we now have iphone 14 pro in our hands okay all right don't forget to check my other video i did the unboxing of the brand new iphone 14 pro in purple this one and iphone 14 uh, pro max in gold both are 256 gig again like i said it's important to have enough space to take advantage of this beautiful new camera all right thank you thank you thank you so much if you uh, were able to watch this video to the end i really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe comment and like this video make sure that you share to your friend and family so that other people can also learn from this video that being said this is maxi with signing out ciao